would like to welcome Sheena Booter to the stage. Yeah. Sheena, yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sheena is a senior UX designer at the Zoosh Group, um, and they offer design and technology services to progressive industry leaders and B2B startups. Uh, Sheena has an MA in Interactive Media from the University of Arts London, and her talk is called What's Different About Designing for Startups? So welcome, Sheena. got a new job um, and I'm working for a company called Zoot that uh, does design work um, and funds startups and this was quite a departure for me because I've always worked for UX design agencies uh, so I thought you guys might be interested in what's different about designing for startups uh, so a lot of this is a story about how I had ridiculous assumptions that were wrong uh, but it's also about how uh, everywhere people uh, are resistant to change so design agencies are great. Uh, as many of you guys know, it's old people like you who are obsessed with design. So you get to spend all day obsessing about uh, input fields and uh, having chalk talks. And there's loads of knowledge sharing and transfer of information. It's, it's amazing to work in. Um, and everyone uh, yeah, loves post-it notes, uh, weirdly. You guys know. Um, but... Uh, um, the thing is that design agencies exist because uh, there are other organizations that aren't good at design who need them. And a lot of the time in agencies, you are sent off to work with companies that are really bad at design. And they're bad at design because their organizations uh, don't do change well. Because they have, this is probably familiar to you, they have this really gnarly legacy technology and uh, they have hierarchical organizational structures which make it difficult to make change happen. And people there don't like change. But that's not surprising because people everywhere don't like change. Our brains really don't like change at all. Back when we uh, lived in caves, we developed habit as a way of um, ensuring our survival because habit is really low on brain power and change is quite difficult. So uh, habit ensures our survival. Uh, so I kind of got a bit jaded working for these large organizations that were opposed to change because uh, it's really hard to get anything done. Uh, and I dreamed of this utopia where um, startups would be, with this like, weird, nerdy tech utopia where there's boundless communication and uh, everything works on every device. <laughs> um, and this wasn't always true of the startups I worked with because not all startups are really good at agile. Agile is actually quite hard and is kind of big boy product stuff, but a lot of the startups I was working with were quite new to product development. And uh, they weren't as close to the users as I kind of expected them to be. Um, actually, a lot of business-to-business -business startups just don't have any access to their users at all. And uh, the really bad news is that uh, no technology um, or new technology doesn't mean that there are no constraints. It actually just means that terrifyingly you don't know what they are until halfway through development and then you're told your entire user journey is absolutely fucked. <laughs> Um, so, because so, uh, I'm a researcher, I asked some people I work with what was different about designing for startups. And my boss spends, he spends, uh, says he spends a lot of time holding hands with people, uh, interestingly. And uh, another person I spoke to said that um, uh, startups find change difficult. And I thought this was bizarre because surely large organizations find change difficult. So why would startups? And then I started thinking about how the brain works again. So in normal situations, our brains like habit, but uh, when we're faced with uh, fear, um, our brains behave differently. So if you have a startup, like you've put your whole life into it, you've probably sacrificed meaningful human relationships for it. And if you make the wrong decision, like everything's gone, it's terrifying. Um, and in those kind of situations of fear, uh, our brains behave in a specific way. We get like uh, shortness of breath and we're quite focused on like one goal and when we were hairy cavemen that was very useful because we could uh, focus on a bear attack and and figure that problem out but when we're in a startup environment uh, I found that the founders of startups were often overly focused on one goal and didn't see the positive benefits of change 
Uh, so my learning overall was that um, people everywhere are opposed to change and designers can't escape that. Um, but also that if we can uh, understand the problem, then that's the key to solving it. So understanding the context of uh, opposition to change is really useful. And uh, the good news is that uh, we can solve this because what designers do is visualize future states. And if we can visualize the future, then we can make the unknown known and we can remove what's causing fear. <laughs>